Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow Tide here. It's been over a week since the last video. It's been pretty quiet on the Halo front. We're getting back from, you know, the holiday season, New Year. We've seen things such as the Halo TV show season two trailer preview thing. Uh, if you guys want a video on that, let me know in the comments down below. I am personally pretty not excited. Excited is not the word. Hopeful? I got a lot of hopium. The trailer at least seems like there's way more action this season. And with all the new showrunner, director, Director, producer people it really does seem like there was a completely different shift in the tone from season one to this also I have not seen Quan at all in any of the trailers so I guess that storyline is just gone anyways if you want to talk more about it let me know in the comments but today what I want to talk about is Paul Tassie of Forbes now, if you don't know who Paul is, he's pretty entrenched in like destiny and stuff like that. He's a YouTuber as well. Sometimes he has good tweets and opinions. Other times I completely disagree with what he's saying. I understand what his job is. It's just like YouTube, you know, you gotta try to get clicks and things like that. It's his livelihood. But that aside, let's get into what he tweeted. So on his Twitter, he posted a link to an article called Halo on PlayStation is no longer unthinkable in the new Xbox era. Okay. So I don't want to take away from his livelihood and just read the entire article word for word. And if you guys want to, I will leave a link to that article in the description. But in this article, he says that the Xbox brand wants people to play their games on as many platforms as possible. Talks about Sea of Thieves maybe coming to PlayStation and how that's basically like an Xbox property. But he asks the question, how far is Microsoft willing to take this? Talks about the player count on Halo Infinite and how bringing it to the PlayStation platform would expand the player base and make it healthier. I understand that. Of course, I want more people playing Halo. As somebody who makes content on it, I want the game to succeed, but we'll get into that in a second. He then poses the question, who would look worse in the situation? Microsoft, who's putting a game that is supposed to be a flagship franchise on their rival's platform? Or would it be Sony, who is letting them bring Halo to PlayStation? Now, why do I think this is silly and not likely to happen for at least a little bit? I don't think that Halo Infinite is the correct Halo franchise to bring to PlayStation as like the first foray into the Halo franchise for that platform. I think there's a continuity issue with that. I don't think Halo Infinite is in the correct place right now in terms of like a game ecosystem to be the first Halo game to be brought on that platform. I feel like it's just kind of opening up more discourse, especially from, you know, console fanboys. Paul says that they don't have to bring the campaign to PlayStation, which I guess is okay. I mean, that's kind of the continuity issue is because Infinite takes place in a world that's already had, you know, so many games before it. So you're missing out on that story for people who have never played it. But at the same time, I feel like people know what Halo is. So I don't know how much that really matters, but I personally would think that they would want to bring the Master Chief Collection, something that is completely fleshed out, that has a beginning and an end, that has had years and years of content added and updates and performance enhancements, things like that, to bring onto the platform before they bring Halo Infinite to it. And I do think that they could bring Halo Infinite to the platform. I don't think that that's as crazy as some people might think. We live in a world now where, you know, there's so many games that are cross-platform already. I don't think that console exclusives are like that big of a deal now. You want to make the most money that you can. These companies know that. And the only way to do that is to not limit your game to one platform. I can absolutely see a game like, you know, uh, God of War only being on PlayStation for like three years or something and then like, oh, guess what? We are going to add it to Xbox. Woohoo! And then they just sell more copies of that. But there was also like an exclusive period. Maybe they sold a couple more PlayStations because it was only on PlayStation and people wanted to play it on launch. But I just don't think it's that important anymore. I do think that it would make... Microsoft 343 more money. If they released Halo Infinite on there, you know the battle passes are paid for on the game. 
there's the store stuff so yeah i'm sure that like short term it would bring in some revenue but if you do the same thing that you did with the launch of infinite on pc and xbox where it's just not fully complete yet people are gonna be like i'm just gonna move on to another game i believe that in my heart now don't get me wrong halo infinite has come such a f long way from where it was at launch and I do think that it's pretty close to content complete. A lot of people say that it is with like the addition of Firefight and stuff like that. And I do think the cadence that we're getting new content is pretty good right now. But I don't think it's quite there yet. Especially for a first impression on a new platform. Something that's never happened before. So to reiterate, I don't think Paul is completely wrong. I do imagine a world where Halo is on more platforms. I'm pretty sure that Halo, the Master Chief Collection, could run on the Nintendo Switch at this point, but I just don't think that it's the right time for Halo Infinite to come to PlayStation. Now, the rumors with, like, Sea of Thieves and stuff, that it's still rumors, so we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below how you feel. Am I off base and just being mean to Paul by saying this is a silly idea for right now go check out that article if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe we are grinding way towards 15,000 subscribers and i would greatly appreciate it if you hit that sub button i will see you around the ring peace